That's his wife. Guys, quiet. Yes, go to the bathroom. Hello. Hello. How are you? Okay. Say hello, class. <laughs> well, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Miss Amy, and I am the wife of the beekeeper you're about to meet, and his name is Mr. David. Um, before we get started, we're going to go ahead and review some really important words you're going to need to know. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Great. Here we go. And Ms. Gibbs, I'm going to ask that you um, have your volume up as loud as you can have it. Okay. And I'm going to mute myself so you don't have to hear the background. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. And you can see my screen, Fletch's Flyers Honeybees. Yes. Say it again. I'm sorry. Okay. Are you looking at Fletch's Flyers Honeybees? Yeah, uh huh. We see that we see your um title page. Okay, great. Here we go. Look, guys. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here today. Today, we're going to take a virtual field trip to Futch's Flyers Honeybees. In this short video, we're going to introduce you to some vocabulary that will help you understand what you will see during the field trip. We're first going to talk about where the bees live. Honeybees live in a hive. And what you're seeing here is where our bees live. They're called hive boxes. And domestic honeybees, as opposed to wild honeybees, live in some type of hive box. Is a colony of honeybees. Most likely, this colony is looking for a place to live or a place to build a new hive. It's called a swarm. For the bees we're looking at today, they live in the hive boxes and they create honeycomb on frames like you see in the top right. On the frames, they build cells. A honeybee cell is a hexagon, which is a six-sided figure, like you see in the bottom right-hand corner. In this picture, we see brood. Brood go through a few stages of development before they emerge as adult bees. You may think there's just one kind of bee, but in a hive, there are really three types of bees that keep everything going. The queen, well, she's the one that lays all the eggs in those cells that we saw. The workers, all of them are females or girls. They collect pollen, uh, take care of the larva, clean the hive, make honey, and perform all kinds of tasks. The drone, which you see on the left, their job is to leave the hive and mate with a new queen from another hive, and that's how they survive. Honeybees go through a metamorphosis. They start as eggs, they grow into larva, and then they become pupa, and finally, adults. In this picture, we can see an adult honeybee hatching from her cell. Let's take a look at some of the beekeeper's tools. On the left is a hive tool. And beekeepers use this to separate the frames and, and open up some of the, the hives. In the middle, there's a smoker. Smoke 
keeps the bees calm. So we use that so we don't get stung. And then on the right side, you'll see the beekeeper suit. Now this beekeeper is wearing a suit from head to toe with gloves, but that's usually a choice of the beekeeper. Most importantly is to protect yourself. Honeybees are just one of many pollinators that help plants reproduce. If honeybees are healthy, they can make a lot of honey and we can take some of that honey for ourselves. Humans have learned how to be friends with the honeybees and we do our best to protect them. All right. So are you ready to get started? I think you probably are right. I'm going to turn you over to Mr. David now. David, go, go ahead and um, if you want. Miss, um, Miss, you can have to hand up their computer so they can ask questions if they want. I, I think that um, if you want to ask questions, we've got a short period of time at the end uh, for questions, no. or you can collect their questions and ask for them. Or you, or you can type them into the chat room if you want for them. It's um, it's an hour, but we, we can do it after that because I have nothing like I have a quiz in science and that's all. Okay, okay, great. All right, I'm gonna see why Mr. Fetch has jumped. All right. Okay. David, are you there? Here we go. I can do it after this because he can he can only do it this time and it's like it's just yeah this he's from discovery. Uh -huh. And David, we need you to unmute. Okay. There you go. <laughs> All right. Can you guys hear me? All right. Hey, boys and girls. How are you? I'm so excited to be here. I can't wait till one day I get to meet you face to face. I've enjoyed working with your teacher already. And we thought this would be a great little virtual field trip to get to meet you and you get to know a little bit about me. Um, before we get started, there's a few things we talked about. You saw a little bit about the smoker. We're going to have to smoke our bees here just a minute. So we calm them down. Um, and I live in North Florida and most of our flowers are just about done blooming. There's a few white, white blooms here. Um, behind me, you can see all those, those plants, uh, some really pretty purple flowers um, grow there as well. Uh, and so my bees have just really had a, a good time. Um, they're, they're doing well. So, so without kind of waiting, some things that I let's, let's open them up and let's take a look at them. Now, remember, we got to put a little smoke in there and I got my hive tool. So I kind of open up a little bit, just kind of crack it just a little bit. Kind of put some smoke in there. It also kind of tells the uh, tells the bees that, hey, somebody's coming in the front door or in the roof. All right. So we give it just a minute for them to calm down and then we uh, we will open them up and I'll show you a little bit about what a beekeeper does. I know that you've been learning about pollinators and how important pollinators are. And so that's, that's why I'm kind of doing this. Uh, I like honey, but I also like to help the environment and help uh, our plants. And, uh, and if you can't see it now, but over there are grapevines and blueberries, all those wonderful things that we like to, to have. So if real quick though, because there's a lot of wind up here today, I'm gonna take off my hood, okay? So I'm going to take this off. There we go. Now you can see me. Ah, oh, there we go. Excellent. So I smoked a little bit. Let's take a, and open them up. Yep, there we go. Now this jar on the top is actually how I feed them. And I'm going to show that to you 
at the end of our time today. I'll go ahead and open up. And uh, can you see the bees on that, on that board right there? Oh my goodness, lots of bees. And so, so bees, like you saw, live on these frames and they, they build their, their, their honeycomb on the frames. They, they go in and they, uh, on that frame, they actually make um, um, cells so they can, so they can uh, uh, have, uh, put eggs in there so the queen can lay eggs. So we're gonna pull out a few. That one has, I have some. This one's a relatively new hive. And so, so we're taking this down, we're gonna look at it and I'm gonna bring you some, some um, frames. Again, these are frames that have some bees on it. I was out here checking the other day, making sure that my little, my girls here knew that somebody was gonna come knocking on their door. So this is the one I want right here. Can you see how I'm kind of moving them over just a little bit, maybe? So who wants to see some bees? Now, in the video, I did mention that, hey, you know, you've got to know your bees. And my bees are pretty nice, I'll tell you. You see that one at the end with the shiny lid? Those aren't nice bees. If I open that up, I've got to put my hood on. I got to wear my gloves. I'm gonna let you take a look at these bees real quick and see how they move around. Let me get the sun on them just a little bit. Maybe like this will work too. That's good. If, if you just stop for a minute, there you go. Just stop so that they can see them moving. Now remember, if you know your bees, you can actually run your finger across them. Yeah. Hey girls, Mr. David came to say hi again. We were talking about brood. See the caps right there? There's, that's, that's baby bees. They're already larva and they've been capped over and she'll come out and eat a hole in that wax and come out as an adult bee. And she'll go through a process like with the other bees of taking care and feeding and through their life cycle. It's pretty amazing. What do you think? Let's see. You think I can get one to walk on me? Let's see. How about it, girls? Oh, there we go. So one thing you should know about bees, they're not after you. They don't want to sting you. If a bee stings you, she dies. And so that's not something that they want to do. So we try to be very gentle. Uh, try to help them so, so they um, don't think we're threatening. So all of my movements stay really, really short or really uh, uh, slow. And, and I'll ask you, you know, sometimes when you see a bee, what is it that people do when a bee starts coming around them? And they're muted at the moment. So they- Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so thank you. So, so yeah, bees, People see a bee and, and hold on, I'm gonna get this bee off my hand. There we go, there we go. When people see a bee and they come around and they start doing all kind of crazy stuff like this, right? <laughs> well, a bee thinks that you're after them. You scare them when you do that. So whether it's a bee or something else that just happens to be fly, flying by, you may try just being calm. And sometimes they'll light on your hand or on your leg. Chances are they're not gonna, they're not going to, um, to sting you at all. So, so we won't, we'll dig through a little more. Let's look at one more. Again, I use my hive tool to separate these frames um, by doing that, because um, the, the bees kind of make this stuff called propolis and it glues them together. But there's a lot of bees there, isn't there? And Mr. Oh David, yes. we, have a, we have a question. Oh, please. I love questions. So Zayden wants to know, how did you get the bees? Well, it's kind of funny, you know, you actually go to a somebody that raises bees. So somebody had to start doing bees, right? And um, uh, Miss Amy and I went to a place up in Jacksonville, very North Florida, and bought 
five of these frames full of bees, just like you would kind of go to Walmart and buy buy something. Go and yeah, and they give us the bees, and we come back and put them in here. Another crazy story. Um, don't have time for a lot of stories, but one day, you know, like at your house, maybe there's a water meter in front of the house. Um, my neighbor came to me and he said, there's bees in the water meter. And so I, I got a box and I, I was able to had all my, my suit on and I was able to gently kind of scoop them in this box. And I actually got one of these hives out of that water meter. So lots of people will, you know, want to be kind to bees. And if you know somebody that is kind to bees and would help you save them, uh, they'd be probably more than welcome to, to come down and, and get the bees and, 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 and help them and save them from somebody smacking them with a, with a ice water. So, uh, so that's just one way. But most of the time, people buy the bees from a, somebody who sells them. Thank All right. You. So absolutely. If there's any more questions, Miss Amy, I'm going to start putting these back together because I know our time is precious. And then we'll open up. Uh, to some other questions that, that you guys may have. Before you do that, do you have any frames with honey to show them? I do, I do. So let's see. Um, Miss Amy, I'm gonna have to smoke them a little bit. Ah. Let's see, uh, all the frames have a little bit of honey, but let's see if we can find something that you can identify. Oh yeah, lots of lots of brood on that one. Boys and girls, Miss Amy is a pretty good beekeeper herself. You know, Miss Amy, I don't have anything with brood on or with honey a lot, but what I do have, can you see that, that um, those little white bottoms? Can white. you see in there? Bottom. There's a larva. Oh, a larva are there larvae? Mm, no, I can't easily no. see it. You know, the okay. our, our friends down in Miami may be able to see it. They've got better eyes than you and me. <laughs> well, well, they're, they're getting a little agitated um, because I'm usually very quiet around them. Yeah. So if you don't mind, um, we could show them some pictures later, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and put them back in so we can we can let them be be by themselves again. Absolutely. We don't want to make them mad. That's the last thing we want to do is make them mad. See how gentle I try to be? Easy moving these frames over. You try not to squish one. They 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 will slowly get out of the way. I can actually put these three frames in all at one time. There's nothing on, on them. And then the last thing I do when I come out and work with my bees, when I check on them, see how they're doing, I got to give them something to eat. And when, when there's not a lot of flowers, and so the, so the bees can get nectar, they love sugar water, just sugar water. I mean, sugar and water together and, and, and then put it in a, in a jar. So I'm going to try to get these girls to get down in there. Uh, See how that wind is blowing really hard. But I'm going to smoke them, put the lid back on. All right, girls. Don't forget your, your frame holder. Oh, my frame holder. Thank you. All right. And if they're not in the box, they'll actually find their way back in. They, they know which one is home. And, and that's another reason why. We kind of have them different colors, slightly different colors. So I pull off this jar and then I'll put on another jar of sugar water. Kind of shake it so they can see it going in. Get all excited, like a big candy bar to them. And that's our little dive into a, uh, a beehive a honey beehive 
that uh, that that most likely, if you like honey and you eat honey, it comes out of a box kind of like this. Sometimes they stack them really high, um, but that's that's how we get the honey that we eat. So, Miss Amy, I'm going to turn it over and let you ask some questions or let the kids ask some questions. All right. I think I'm going to let Miss Gibbs unmute so that the okay. kids can They want to say thank you. Ready, <laughs> set, go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, they got some questions. All, All right, right I'll, I'll do my wait, best. Wait, 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 one at a time. Uh, wait, wait. Um, they want to know um, when the bees grow up, do they eat their own lava? They do not. No, they actually have. So when they when they come out of those little cells, they go through a number of different stages as worker bees, and one of them is called a nurse bee, just like. You would have a nurse at a hospital or a doctor's office. A nurse is there to take care of you. So the nurse bees go in and they take care of the young little the little uh, larva before they they uh, they go in and cap the cell. So no, nope, they don't eat the they don't eat the larva. They actually take care of the larva because they want they want them to grow up and be healthy adults. Yeah. And another question: uh, One of the students wanted to know. He doesn't understand how were you able, and you know, we heard you about being really quiet and but he just doesn't understand how, how come you were able to not get bit or how are you able to manipulate him and not get stung? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, Miss Gibbs. I got stung twice while I was doing that. Oh. <laughs> one of them got me right here, okay? Oh. And one of them got me right there on that finger. Um, but I was also out here yesterday, Miss Gibbs. Right. So, so, so the bees were a little agitated already. Oh, okay. So, if they're agitated, you know, so what can we do not to get stung? Well, so before I started beekeeping, I just walked away from bees. I, I, I had I had a few bees. I had, had the whole suit and everything. So I would dress up. I have leather gloves here. I'll grab them right here so you can see them. I have leather gloves that I wear. There we go. And so so I put on these gloves and I and really when I'm looking at that hive number one over there, that one uh, I wear my gloves, I wear, I put my hood on, I zip it up, I double check. Um, I even, sometimes I don't wear socks, I even wear socks because they get agitated really easy. Oh, and today, okay. and, I, and I don't know what the weather is in Miami right now, it's obviously bright and sunshiny and, and if you can see the sky, there's no clouds up there, but there's a good bit of wind. So, so today... Um, if, if I normally was, if I wasn't doing this with you guys, I probably wouldn't have come out here and opened up the hive oh, just because yeah. I, I'm learning. It's been a couple of years, but I'm learning what it takes, you know, what, what, when, a, when a bee gets mad. Uh, like oh, if it's okay. raining, if it's raining at all, absolutely not. Don't open them up because okay. they're, they're all inside and they're all ready to, uh, you know, they don't want to be inside. They want to be outside hunting down flowers and, and getting getting nectar. All right. Yes. Um. What's your What's your question? Yeah. Um. Uh, we want to know: Is the drone a male? A drone is a male. In fact, um, a drone can't sting you, and he's a little bigger. Um, if we'd have had, if I'd have been fully suited. And it had been a, a calmer day with wind. Uh, we could have probably seen a drone, um, but but if you if you, if you look it up, and I could I could send you some pictures, but you can actually see it's a little bigger than than the worker. Uh, you can you can tell it with your eyes. So who who stings you? The workers? Only the girls. Yep, only the girls. The the workers. The drones don't sting you. The, um, the, the workers, yeah. Girls, which are the girls singing? I know at my at my old school we would have bees on the ground. Um, I guess they were um, pollinating, and they would never sting anybody. Yeah, well, and that's because they don't really want to sting you. Um, you know, you saw me pulling them out and everything. Yeah. So, so they were that with the wind. We got the wind coming from that direction. 
and uh, with the wind and me messing with them today and, and having just messed with them yesterday, no! you know, they, um, they, they, they really weren't, weren't, weren't excited about me. Um, they're not like pets. It's not like I can be so nice to them and then they won't sting me, but they don't want to because unfortunately I had two bees die today. One that bit me here and one that bit me there or oh, bit me. I say it's bit me, stung me and stung me, but yeah, they don't want to do that. Um, they try to avoid that, but they're trying to protect their hive, which no. you can understand. Um, um, Sanaya, what, what question do you have? Oh, the bathroom. Who has a question? Zayden, what? Wait, Roberta, what's your question? Because they... He, he wants to know why do bees land on people that are not bothering them and when they pollinate, what do you say about when they pollinate, what happens? Do they eat the pollen that they pollen that they use to 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 um spread around? Yeah, uh, that those are excellent questions. So and I looked them up just for this person, okay, so I could get the correct answer. So so they land on you because they're just curious. They're Maybe curious. Yeah, maybe maybe your your the soap that was that you washed with smells good, so they'll land and they'll kind of you know they have a little tongue. They'll kind of check out over things and they'll fly away. Um, so so sometimes shampoo, you know, they'll they'll they, they, it's, they're, they're they're trying to find it. Um, but but the other thing about the pollen, so so they'll go around a flower. And they have these little hairs on them. And, and that's their, the reason the flowers love them. And we know they're good for Fine. flowers Fine. is because they're moving pollen from one flower to another so they can, they can pollinate. The, oh, um, okay. But the bees also have these little places on their side. They're called uh, pollen baskets. Is that, yeah, I think that's right. They are, and by oh. the feet. Yep, yep. So right, yeah, down here. And so they will actually take their front legs and pack pollen on each side before they come in. And that way, so, so you guys know like when you eat things with protein, I'm not sure if you're, if in a, if you're learning about proteins yet, but when we eat meats or when we eat certain beans, they have protein, protein helps us grow. And so they will take that pollen, put it in the hive and then seal it up so they can eat it later. So it's a protein source for them. It's a good thing for them. Oh, okay. Um, one more question. Um, Zayden, yes. He showed a picture. He, they showed a picture of the queen, the worker, and the drone. I'll, I'll, I'll find you another picture. He wanted to um, be able to identify the queen from the drone from the worker. Okay, and and um, uh, Miss Amy may be able to uh, send you a, 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 a copy of that YouTube. We put that video on yeah. YouTube, uh -huh. and, and so that that would so then that could help reinforce with them what they already saw. So okay. we could certainly easily share that with you. And one more, um, one more. okay, yes. What's your question? You have a question, Emily? Come tell me. Let let Emily go. She hasn't gone yet. And you come yet to the, tell me. Quiet, no. So. Oh, what is the life cycle of a bee? Like how long do they live? So kind of funny. It just determines on what time of the year it is. In the summertime, when there's plenty of flowers and they're busy making honey and going out and finding pollen, somewhere around 30 days, maybe four, three, you know, 20, 28 days to 30 35 days. days. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we live that's like it. a month. Yep. Now, since it's, since there's not a lot of bee and a lot of, a lot of flowers, um, they will kind of, they don't hibernate, but they're storing all of that honey all summer, the honey I leave them. So like, so like that one on the end, the honey up top is for me. The honey down below is for them. Down, and so, so they'll, they'll actually live on that honey all, all winter. And some of those, those uh, um, worker bees may live four or five months.
because they're not out flying. They literally will fly until they wear themselves out and die. Oh my goodness. Um, one more, Diana. What? Huh? They they want to know. I guess you can just tell us briefly. I guess how do they make the honey? So they have enzymes in their body, and this they guy. actually they actually will take the the um the the the, the sugar water in or the, um, the nectar from the flowers in, they're inside their body. They have enzymes that will, will turn it into honey. And I know this is gonna gross everybody out, but then they kind of spit it back up and give it to one of the workers and the workers go and put it in those combs. Who does this, uh, what, the, the queen or the workers or the drones? The workers, yeah. So there's, there's the, the drones really are kind of worthless. They, they, all they do is go out and mate. That's all, that's the only job that they have. Yep. Okay. In fact, the workers, if there's too many drones, they'll kill, they'll kill the drone and dump them outside on the front porch. Oh, okay. <laughs> and if we could move my camera, I'm not going to because we're going to wrap up. But in front of some of my hives right now, I got three more going that way. Uh, and some of my hives right now, I probably have a small handful of dead bees right outside the, uh, the area right here. Yep. They'll take them and just dump them out right there. They're all around the ground. How about the drones? So, the drones, yeah. Some of them will just die and they'll carry them out. But the drones, the drones especially, they'll, 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 they'll hover around the drone and overheat the oh, okay. drone in order to kill them. All right, all right, you can have a seat. And we're gonna get one more question, then we can we'll let you um go because I know all right. Um one more question. No, somebody hasn't asked yet. I mean, I know yes. That I, what what's your question? Um, I was about to say, um, how do bees um fly around that long? They they fly because they're they oh, how, they, how, how they fly for a long, long time. Okay, how okay, I'll ask, I'll ask that. Okay, and what's your question? Well, they, uh, they work to make the honey while they're in there. I know that much. One more, and the last question, yes. Is the theory, uh, yes, you heard that? They want to know, is yeah. that true? When a, when, a, when a bee sting you, do they automatically die? They, they, yeah, it, it really does pull their guts out with the stinger and, and the little the little uh, venom pack that's on there. So, so oh, they... There may be a chance where one bear, like I've had them bite me on or, or bite, sting me on my finger and, and then, but it didn't pull out. It didn't get deep enough. And um, I kind of will brush them off. But, but if, if they get, if they sting you hard, that, that stinger stays in your skin and then they fly off and it pulls, yeah, it's sad, but it pulls their guts out of them. Oh, did you all hear that? The stinger, if it, when it goes in you and the and the and the um, bee flies away, the stinger is connected to his gut. So when he flies away, his guts are pulled out. So he, that's why he doesn't live long. Yeah. I know. All right, yeah. um, we're gonna clap because we're thankful. <laughs> and um, um, are, are you gonna um wait, guys? Wait, guys. Say thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, boys and girls, and and Miss Gibbs for giving me a chance. Thank you. Are we still on for Wednesday morning, or you want to do another day? It's ten thirty, I believe. Is that is that, is that what yeah, I remember uh -huh. correctly? Yep. Yes. Same thing. We'll, we'll do exactly right. the same thing, but this time we'll have them join from everywhere. I guess they'll be virtual. All right. Well, thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing right, you. I look forward to seeing you Wednesday morning. You got it. Take care. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>